I were to stack these boxes up, they would be as tall as me. This is the ultimate Briar unboxing haul, y'all. I really don't remember what is in these boxes. I couldn't tell you. Even though there's 12 boxes, I think there's more than that in horses. Let's get a started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this guy. This box is absolutely destroyed. It's really smushed. It's like actually coming open. Oh my God, that's why. Thank God it's wrapped. Here's the model. And there's just like, well, there goes the model. I know who this is. But this horse is literally like, $15 or something stupid. It's Garrett. Okay, there's a second box that's very similar right here. The person totally smushed it, so... This horse is just in a plastic bag. Oh no. <laughs> I have no idea who it is. Oh my god! That is so scary! This horse came from eBay and he was really expensive. Oh, and he's really nice. This is the Briarfest 2017. Uh, Bollywood surprise. I'm glad he's safe in one piece because that was a bit of risky <laughs> packaging. I guess we'll just keep going down the stack. Two matching ones. Magic and Hamlet, I think were their names. And then I have the second one and this actually completes the conga so I have every original finish model on the Midnight Tango mold. So yeah, it's the Magic and Hamlet set. It's very, very cute. And then we also have one more in this box. Oh, I love him. This is a Cortez C, I believe his name is. And I have a trio of these guys. Really pretty bald. Oh, I think I know who's in here. And this is the correctly packaged box. Oh, the second very thought this is the wrong horse. But it's not, it's definitely the right horse. So it is a Shasta Moon. I like the Indian Pony mold and this color just is really nice on her, so. And then there's this guy as well. Briarfest Celebration Horse of 2007. His name is Rugged Painted Lark, I think. He's just at a Bay Tobiano on the Zippo Pine Bar Mold. Oh, this one's heavy. This is legit. Aha! The buckskin, again, on the Cody Mold. This is Cupid. I always wanted this Cupid and Arrow set because I really liked the story of them and I remember watching it as a kid. Okay, there he is. He has the arrow on his butt and then Cupid has a heart on her face. So it's a really cute story, so I wanted the model set to go with it. Ta-da! The Fjord! Ah! Picasso! Oh, I didn't think I'd like him this much. Very, very nice. This is a nice mold. This one is exciting. It's the original strap list. Yay! So number 3,022 of 10,000. I'll take more time and care to look at these guys later. <laughs> I'm seriously having second thoughts about my spending habits. Yeah, okay, there we go. So this is um, Santana, Tractor Supply Co. Special run. So he looks just like the Treasure Hunt Silver, but he's a little bit nicer. So that was like one box. I'm gonna open this one. See? Good packaging. There's all of these. <laughs> I love him already. This mold is the most adorable mold that's ever been, ever. He's so cute. This is Tennessee Titan, so I finally got one. If I had to sell all my models, I'd probably keep him. Okay, let's do another one. This is Raja. Raja is the 2014 Collectors Club horse. I paid $35 for him. He's actually really nice. Oh, I like him. I wasn't sure. He was one of those ones where I wanted him, but I wasn't totally sure. It's a little Ricky Rocker. I have no idea what horse can fit in a box. Plastic bag. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've wanted this horse for so long. Ever since I was like 12, I've looked for this guy. This is the JC Penny Arabian Stallion from the family set of like 2006. He's impossible to find. And I honestly think he was like 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Okay, I hope this one is the one that I think it is just paper, but the horse is bubbled, so that's good. 
Spanish and stallion, but he's black skin. <laughs> it's not my favorite mold, but I do like it for some reason. I saved the best for last and I didn't even know. <laughs> the Marin Foal from the JCPenney set. I've wanted this horse since I started collecting. So it's mom, baby, and stallion. Okay, this is probably definitely the most exciting one. This was an impulse buy as well. I bought this horse for $80. This is a Croy Dash Dash Dancha or Dancing Heart, and she's the Premier Club model. This one came up for sale, and she only wanted $80 because she has minor flaws in her chest and stuff. I bought her basically on the spot and I'm so glad I did because wow. So it's a total of 22 <laughs> which is a lot. So thank you so much for watching and um, I understand this was a lot of models. This is a special circumstance and I worked really hard for these horses and purely all of these models were bought off of the money that I made selling my artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video. See, but now I gotta deal with this like huge mess, which is awesome. Help.